Yo, what's up, YouTube? Just thought I would give another Street Search 4 update, but this time, it's time that I'm going to go for a review of Street Search 4. You know, the DLC of Mr. X Nightmare, because, to be honest with you, in fact, I can just start off with saying, you know, the, uh, starting off with Street Search 4, where, hey, the Street Search 4 of... You know, before DLC, it, it was it was it was really addicting. Whereas, a hey, where all the characters came, well not, well, not all the characters, but, but you know what, with this one character we know and love that has returned, and his name is Adam Hunter. Yeah, glad that he showed up, knowing that hey, Adam, however, has been a playable character. For in the past, for the past, for the past two Streets of Rage games, because, <laughs> because in the third one he sh he he showed up, but he really he really didn't become a playable character at the moment. Second one he got kidnapped. But the first one he t he was able to take over, well not take over, but but the second one with me, but the first one. He 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 was a playable character. Now, now that he returned, on Street Search Four, he is a he is a playable character. So now, but then there's a whole there's like also these twelve stages. However, and yeah, these those twelve stages are pretty pretty good. But some of them, I mean, they 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 are alright as well. And like stage three, we got to be careful on how we gotta. Or how we use our blitz or jump attacks towards towards the hole and everything. Because if cause if you don't be careful, then you'll fall off and then your health will drop. So and also same with the elevator scene. You got to be careful there, or else your health will drop once you fall out of there. Um, and also another and also stage stage. Twelve, no, that's stage twelve. Stage eleven, where well, you fall off another elevator or something like that. <laughs> and also for the, and also, and also there's all, and also for you, you know the, you know, th dropping combos and everything. It's pretty fun. And when it first came out, that's when I got so hooked on it. Yeah, when it first came out, I got so hooked on it. But then when it comes to dealing with the enemies, it's it's it's. It's pretty cool, but the one thing I don't like about dealing with the enemies is when they have on the armor. Like, that makes no sense. Like, that's what makes the game... That's what makes the game really complicated. Or, or not really complicated. That's what makes the game become very difficult. Like... Why make the enemies become stronger than us? Like, like we supposed to be stronger than them. We supposed to have we supposed to have these enemies in the bag, on easily beating them. But the bad part is they easily beating us. So yeah, that's that's the only that's the that's the problem I'm having when playing Street Fighter Four at this moment. And also, and also the characters. You know what I'm saying? With uh, you know, with all the characters they using the air special, us us playing some of these characters like Axel Stone, Blaze Field, and Cherry Hunter, the new character, and Florida Riot, and also the new character, and of course Adam Hunter. I mean, they have so many good special abilities, but though some of them, some of the characters have some of the certain moves on how, on how you play them. Simple as that, but you know, I'm not gonna get, into, I'm not gonna get too much into it. But in fact, before I do, before I go to the next part, the boss battles, some of the boss, some of the boss characters, they're really difficult to beat. But some of them, some of them, we can, we can take them down easily. So therefore, yeah. So therefore, it's pretty decent. Now moving on to the DLC. You know, Mr. X Nightmare. Now, I gotta tell y'all this. When DLC came out, 
with the first three characters, you know, like Elstu, Max Thunder, and Shiva. You know, the boss characters we faced previously. Oh, man. I gotta tell you. Especially playing in the survival mode. Wow. I got so hooked. I, I became even more addicted <laughs> when playing the DLC or the survival mode. And also and also we get to unlock some of the some of the characters and new new techniques. And, you know the new moves and the thing. I also like Cherry's new new blitz where she does the sliding knee and also um and also, and also Adam Hunter's new blitz, and also Axel Stone's new blitz, and Blaze Fielding's new blitz, and also Florida Ryan's new blitz, and also, also, um, also I like Max Thunder, but also his star move, that's the only problem I have with Max is his star move, whereas, you know, when you use a star move, you're supposed to restore your health, right? Okay. The problem is this. When I played Max Thunder, or everybody played Max Thunder, everybody played Max Thunder, when you use the star move or the star strike, I think, his health doesn't restore. Like, what's going on? Now that needs to be fixed. That's the that's that's the one thing that's missing from them. That's the one that's the one thing they're missing. They're not restoring his health when when um when Max is using the star move. Like, come on, y'all. Ugh. But then moving on to Shiva now. Ooh, whew. I gotta tell you, Shiva is awesome. And yeah, I, I, since, and you know, so to major players, they did a review, since they did a review on Street Ray for the DLC, I thought I would come up with a review of my own. <laughs> For now, Shiva, however, that dude is freaking OP, though. I'm not gonna lie. Especially with that flying kick new blitz. Oh man, we got so we have so many, so many moves to choose from. On how are we supposed to play him. I like his spirit. I like his spirit dance of the star move. But that wing flying star move, I think. I'm kind of not feeling that, but okay. It is what it is. I hate to knock it, but oh well. Uh, but yeah, man, Shiva is freaking awesome. He's he's really addicting. He's really addicting. He's really an addicting character to play as. In fact, he's so he's re, he's very fun. I'm not gonna lie to you. But then when I when I play on the Mania Plus difficulty, I tried to play Max. I mean, I, I, mean I, I tried to beat the Mania Plus difficulty with Max, but all of a sudden I just keep getting, I just keep getting wrecked. So I'm like, you know what? Shiva should be my next option. And when I play Shiva, boom, I managed to survive. But though, I mean, when I first played him, I was, I went game over. Like, dang it. But when I played him again, though, know, I went to the top and, and conquered it. <laughs> So hey, but yeah, man. To be honest, as a result, man, Streets of Rage Four, however, is pretty cool. It's 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 very fun to play, and I, and I really love it to death. But yeah, there are some flaws coming through for Streets of Rage Four, so all that other stuff needs to be fixed. And to bad part is, I didn't even bother playing on the battle mode, knowing that hey. <laughs> Some of the people on the other console, some of the people are playing this game on the other consoles, so yeah. So yeah, I can I can push that aside. And um, yeah, Streets of Rage Four I mean, is pretty is is a very is a very addicting game, and everything. So especially with all the characters and everything with the new moves and stuff, I'm like wow. I, I really enjoyed it at this moment. So, so yeah, so yeah, I just thought I would give y'all a good quick review. And also, 
they still they still didn't bring in the you know the sprinting and rolling like they did for Streets of Rage three, and also, and I'm also disappointed that they didn't bring in Skate, or should I say Eddie Hunter, who should be an adult. But. So yeah, maybe for Streets of Rage five, they they'll bring him in. So, hopefully, I can make another video about that later on, in the future. So yeah. So yeah, I, I, I really enjoy playing Street Fighter Four, especially the DLC. But I mean, I had a lot, I had more fun playing on the survival mode. Yes, I had more fun playing on the survival mode than I did on a, in the arcade mode. And for the lifetime points, we need to do something with the. We're not doing anything with these lifetime points. Like, come on. Why can't we just spend some of the lifetime points on the perks that we have from the survival mode and place them and use them as mutators for the arcade mode? Yeah. We, I, I'm, 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 in, I'm in dip to that. So, so yeah. That should be something that needs to talk about. So, because I can't be the only one putting that out there. Because we were earning so many lifetime points, but didn't bother doing anything with it. So. But yeah, one day in the future we will, hopefully. So. But yeah. Just thought I would give y'all a little. Just thought I would give y'all a good review of, for Streets of Rage 4, however. So. With that being said. TR93 signing out.